international strike and we bring our international network to it from our sisters in Empower Thailand and the US Prostitutes Collective to New Zealand, India and South Africa and many other places. We are striking against poverty, violence, criminalization and stigma. Sex workers today are, are striking by refusing to go to work, charging double rates. <laughs> or by any other possible action. We are striking to get the police off our backs. Those of us who are women of color, immigrant, trans, bear the brunt of racial and brutal policing. Our fight against criminalization is everyone's fight. We are fighting for safety and demanding protection from the serial murders of women in South LA, which were dismissed by police as no humans involved, to our successful fight for compensation when we are victims of rape. Criminalization of sex work makes us more vulnerable to violence and gives the green light to violent men to attack us. We are striking alongside other women because we are the same women mothers, domestic workers, farm workers, factory workers. Our struggles are the same. What is different about this international women's strike is that all women are saying that we refuse to be divided. <laughs> women are spearheading a global movement for change. This is feminism of the 99%. And that is different because we have been up against a feminism which calls for more police powers, as in law enforcement assisted diversion programs. And this feminism has attacked not just the sex industry, but the workers in it. No other set of workers is treated like that. In the U.S., poverty has greatly increased. One in 25 households lives on $2 a day. Around 3 million children are living in such households. One in six are going hungry in California. Every time there is a cut in welfare, there is a rise in street workers and many sex workers are mothers. We take action to make the value of women's work, including sex work, more visible. If we had money in our hands for the caring work we do, then we wouldn't have to go into prostitution. We have always supported our communities. We come from a long tradition of resourceful women who have done what is necessary and shared people's lives. Women have used their bodies to bargain daughters, sons, husbands out of concentration camps and border towns to feed or arm our movements and to win the financial independence necessary to escape the, from intolerable relationships or situations. 300 prostitute women occupied a church in the Barbary Coast of SF in 1917 to protest a moralistic crusade against them. But we aren't striking to defend our job. We don't glorify sex work any more than we glorify other jobs. We are striking for the freedom to work and not work in sex work. We refuse to be divided by our sisters any longer. Our strength is your strength. Thank you, ladies.